please do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for more tutorial videos hello guys welcome to the channel backbenches classroom in this video i'm going to show you how to create annual report card for your school project or office project so without wasting time let's get started at the very beginning you have to create a new page so click on create new and now you can select from here any page layout here i'm taking a4 size page layout and click on create button to create the page okay after creating the page you have to unlock this layer so click on this layer to unlock the layer now we can start our design we will set the background color later let's insert a shape first here i'm going to take a rectangle shape by holding shift button you can create a rectangle shape after create set any color for now okay and remove this stroke by clicking over here now click outside uh, after all of this we have to duplicate this shape by pressing ctrl plus j button from keyboard okay now here we need to select this layer object by pressing ctrl plus t button to select this shape okay now rotate the shape around 45 degree and place it to the corner and to fit this area we need to make it bigger in size okay now here we need another duplicate copy of this layer shape so to make the duplicate press ctrl plus j button from the keyboard plus t button okay now select this duplicate shape and move it to the bottom corner like this and place it properly okay after adjusting the corner shapes let's duplicate another one and here i think i don't need this one okay so let's duplicate this one as i said earlier press ctrl plus j to duplicate after duplicate select the object by pressing ctrl plus t button now move it to the center like this now holding shift button reduce its size like this okay and place it over here now again create another duplicate copy by pressing ctrl j and move to uh, toward right side like this okay now select both of them and make both duplicate by pressing ctrl j and now select ctrl plus t to select both the duplicate step now rotate it like this okay now click here to apply okay now select four of them and create a group by clicking over here or simply you can press ctrl plus g to create a group now rename it as center and select below all the shapes and create another group and name it as background now select this center group and press ctrl plus t to select the group and reduce its size little bit and place it exactly middle like this okay now apply it now open the group or expand the group and make another duplicate of any shape by pressing ctrl plus j button select the shape and reduce its size by holding ctrl uh, sorry shift button and place it over here okay create another one and place it over here make another two duplicate okay now place over here or you can place this small steps wherever you want so our base design is completely ready now we can apply colors and 
and add all the icons and images so let's rename it uh, rename the layers so we can identify the layers later when we insert the image okay first we will rename this as Okay, after rename all the layers, we can move to the next step. Okay, now let's apply the color. Okay, first I'm going to have, going here. First I'm selecting this. We don't need this layer. Okay, first I'm going to select this one. Okay, so simply click this. And now go to fill color. Go to more color. From here, we can set any color. Okay. I think we need okay okay now for this shape I'm going to set some pink red combination color okay now I'm going to apply colors to the small shapes okay now and here I'm going to insert the images you can use your project relevant images over here okay okay now follow the video and see how I am inserting the images into this shapes so first drag all the images into this page and then arrange these images by putting this image on the top of the previous created shapes and then we have to create the clipping mask so follow the video and watch how i am doing the process okay now select the image layer by pressing ctrl plus t button and move it into the shape area now resize the image properly so that it will cover the previously created shapes do the same with all the three shapes okay now let's add some shadows here so go to here click on drop shadow and from here you can set the shadow okay let's increase the gap between the shapes Here we have to move the shape to the outside to make a gap between the shapes. Okay now here I am going to apply some effects to the background so that we need to convert background group to the smart object. Now open the smart object layer by clicking on it. Okay now let's apply some gradient color to the white background first. Now I will reduce the opacity and fill color to the minimum. Now click on save button to save this. Okay, now close this tab after saving the layer. Okay, I'm going to add effects. So go to the filter and click on filter gallery. 
after open the filter gallery simply choose from this drop down list this green option okay now justify this gain values okay now choose green type so if you satisfy with your adjustments hit on ok button or you can select the another green type the shapes okay now it will giving a texture color okay if you want to edit these images you can simply double click on the uh, over here now here i'm going to set uh, some shadows over here so first click on the drop shadow and simply add some shadow okay now click this and add the shadow again but this time we will choose the angle to the opposite direction okay. set this as uh, smart object now close the this one we don't need it okay okay now click on this filter gallery blending icon and from here you can adjust the opacity of this effect so uh, here i am reducing a little bit of this filter opacity the design is ready now we can add some text so to add uh, the text you can simply click on this uh, text tool and simply draw it over here like this now you can write any text here as like headline one okay now select the text you can simply reduce the size over here give them a color so that's how you can create a text and adjust its properties like color size etc so after adding text and icons it will look like this so if you like our videos please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos thank you for watching